through many industries and sectors, particularly if there is an international dimension to it. And that extends also to the film industry, uh, which is among many, really, who've seen multi-million dollar losses and productions that have suddenly had to come to a halt. They certainly did. Now, one of those productions is uh, Ruby's Choice which stars American actress Jane Seymour and directed by Australian Michael Budd, both of whom join us now. Oh, it is so good to see you both nice and safe in these very weird times, isn't it? Uh, Jane, let me start with you. You've been in quarantine so far ever since um, landing here uh, in Australia. What's quarantine been like so far? Well, it was uh, very disconcerting at first because um, they are, you know, very by the books. There's the army, there's police, there's, you know, a lot of security. Uh, you're, you're kind of processed, you know, almost like you're a prisoner or something. But, I mean, everyone's polite and nice, but, you know, they're very, it's business-like. And then they put you in a room and close the door and say you're not allowed out at all, not over the threshold for two weeks. But uh, <laughs> then they test you and do everything. I'm glad they did. And I got my pink. I got my pink thing, you see. You see <laughs> Yay! Someday. Yay! Yay! Freedom! So, <laughs> yes, but I, you know, the, the hotel is nice, and uh, um, one member of the hotel staff sort of sneakily picked up the phone and said, by the way, I know who you are, no one else does, and uh, we're just quite chuffed to have you here. So, I think, I think you know, they, and I've been painting, I don't think you can see behind me. But yes, we can see your paintings behind you, yes. So my COVID paintings, recent ones at the top there. There right. you go. So I've been pretty busy. Okay. Uh, Michael, you are a very, very brave man to be starting this project at a time during a pandemic. Of course, filming is now about to start. You know, everyone will want to know, how do you film? How do you, how do you control the cast and crew during a time of pandemic? Well, I think the short answer to that is difficulty. Um, you know, we're living in new times, uh, something that no one has really dealt with before for a very long time. And, uh, you know, we, we're in a good position here in Australia, actually, because we work closely with the Screen Producers Guild, you know, the SPA Screen Producers Association, um, you know, the Directors Guild, the MMEA, mm -hmm. and the regulations are set down from uh, New South Wales Health. So we have very strict guidelines that we stick to um, and it does set a whole new set of challenges, of course, but, you know, the general consensus within my team is that everyone's excited and they just want to get back to work. Yeah, yeah. That's generally been the general consensus right across the country uh, as well. Well, let's talk about this film, uh, Ruby's Choice. Uh, Jane, you play the lead character. It's a film about family grappling with dementia. Isn't that right? Tell us a little bit more about your character and about the film. What drew you to it? Jane, can you hear me? Are you are you there? Yes, can you hear me? I, I can hear you. Yes, yes. It, it's a beautiful script, and uh, and I really um, love the character because when you're dealing with dementia, um, it's something that most people don't understand how to deal with at all. I mean, it, it's terrifying, and it's the number one killer of Australian women. I don't know if people realise that. So it's a very important subject, and in fact. Um, uh, so Owen Glenn, who helped put this together, has vowed to give 50% of the profits to um, Dementia and Alzheimer's uh, Foundation. Mm -hmm. So we're actually, you know, really kind of showing people what it looks like. But what's really beautiful about this is, whereas it could be very depressing, it really shows you that this woman impacts three generations and everyone in her family in a very positive way. And uh, because she, you know, she, she says it like she sees it, um, a, a lot of family secrets come up and a lot of things are solved because of her. So um, it, it's a really beautiful film. Yeah, very. it, it does sound very uh, intriguing, interesting. Um, Michael, I was really interested to read that uh, you actually lost your grandmother to dementia. And as Jane was saying there, um, that half of the movie's profits are going to Dementia Australia. So this is really a very personal project for you, isn't it, Michael? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a project close to my heart, definitely. When my grandma passed with dementia, and um, I just remember her being the matriarch of our family, really important to us. We'd invite her to family barbecues, and we never knew what we were going to get. You know, she might last five minutes, ten minutes before having a meltdown, but it didn't matter to us. She had to be there, and 
that inner underlying strength is the same strength I'd like to give the character Ruby, and that's why I'm really excited to work with Jane on this, because I think she has that real inner strength, what we're looking for with the script. In terms of uh, the executive producer is Sir Owen Glenn, and Sir Owen Glenn has decided to use his foundation, uh, the Glenn Family Foundation, to support this project. And what I love about them, they have a philosophy called hand up, not hand out. And they work all around the world doing clean water, solar power, empowering education, de-site tenant, um, you know, um, sterilization um, in Africa. And what they've decided to do is they're going to put 50% of the profit into Dementia Care International, which has a spark for life philosophy, which is all about reinvigorating the spark in people with dementia because people with dementia still have so much more to offer us. And it, it widely goes unnoticed. You know, 50% of all people don't know what to say to someone with dementia. So we hope when Ruby's choice is shared with the wider community, it might start to shift the perception of what is possible for people with dementia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It certainly sounds like an amazing film. There's a lot to it. We are all looking forward to it. Uh, Jane and Michael, thank you so much for sharing the time with us. Stay safe, enjoy the production, and we look forward to seeing the end result. Thank, thank you. you. Well, if nothing else, uh, plenty of hours for rehearsal during oh. two weeks of hotel quarantine <laughs> exactly. for Jane Seymour. Let's get over to...